Hello and welcome to the Mega Breadman channel. Uh, it's been a while since uh, I had a video out. So this video is going to be a bit of a vlog as well. Uh, you can see some more vlogs on uh, Mega Breadman Notes, but uh, this is a vlog on the main channel, if that's uh, logical. But uh, yeah, the van's been neglected for a bit. Um, there's a few bits need doing, uh, which we'll get onto in another in another video. So I need to turn our attention to the, the garage over there. So it's a bit of a nightmare because uh, I just feel like I'm not getting anything done because of the it's in such a mess. Um, you know, we can see there behind me. There's all sorts of stuff piled up, and uh, ideally, it would be nice if I can find things and be able to bring a mega bread van in from outside especially as the weather's turning a bit horrible at the moment so today's task is going to be making a start so apart from bikes and what have you which uh, I'm thinking about finding alternative storage arrangements for them because they took up so much room uh, ideally it would be nice to, to have this space here for the van um, I don't know what you think but uh, all of this stuff here on this side all of that was in the back of the van and that needs to go back and then here we've got the soundproofing panels that cost me an awful lot of money they've been sitting there since I bought them and they need fitting so I guess another job to do there's a random door um, a random roof box which used to belong to our Ford Focus uh, I was thinking about reusing it but I might sell it, I don't know and um, we've got some sliding doors, just the sort of thing you find in the garage. Sliding doors that are all wrapped up, and we could sell those too. So it's really going to be a tidying up and deciding if there's anything I can sell to move the floor mirror out of the way so I can actually get into the back of the garage that we can't. We've got to see much in here because there's no light, and anyway. So let's just move up, back a bit so you can see. So that's my scooter, which I bought in 2005. It's a CPI Hussar, with customised lightning strikes. That was influenced by a friend of mine called Colin, who had a very big Honda Goldwing, and he put fluorescent stickers all over his bodywork, so I did the same. They looked very ridiculous next to his Goldwing. I bought that in 2005, and apart from being dusty, it's been stuck in here for a long time it is something that can live again but not with me so i've decided my two-wheeled scooter days are over i just can't cope with the stress of it all because the roads around here are so dangerous so that's one thing that's gonna gonna go eventually everything else is bricks and slates and bits of old swimming pool everything needs to be sorted out so while well, i've cleaned out some of the garage um I found I got a lot of um, screen wash so that means I need to replace or rather refill the screen wash in the van because it's been empty for a little while it's been a while since I've uh, done the screen wash so it's a silicone tank here just behind the uh, headlamp which reminds me that the panel for the headlamp is loose because I was fiddling around trying to sort out the soundproofing. What you do, that's where the screen wash is. So, one funnel, which I've managed to find as well in the garage, which is amazing. I managed to find things that I can use. And we'll stick that in there and refill the screen wash up. If I can undo the... There we go. Now, I don't know how old this screen wash is. But it's been there a little while. It should still be okay. everywhere hopefully it's not off that's full we'll give it a try after I think give it a try anyway 
one more job done. So we're leaping on from November because the last time uh, I worked on this video was back then. And now we're on the 17th of February and uh, things have moved on quite a bit. Uh, we've actually progressed with the garage. The inside of the van here is rank. Um, it's not been opened for a little while and it's stinky. So that's one thing I'm going to have to sort out at some point. Anyway, as you can see, the garage is moderately tidy. Uh, as we've got no sort of lighting in here at the moment, the light's over there and it's... Uh, well, it needs changing and I don't... I'll show you in a minute anyway. Uh, I don't like the idea of changing it, but uh, you'll see why. The light's up here. You can see that uh, it's not exactly the safest of things. So the main job we had was getting all of this tidied because uh, we've got um, all of these bricks and tiles and um, what they call the uh, paving, I suppose. And so the bathroom tiles are there. And they were originally here underneath the, the bench, which is outside. So we had to take all of those and move them to the corner of the garage out of the way. And there's the bench. That's the first bit of furniture that was there before, which um, wasn't there when I first started working on the garage. So basically the idea is, is to fill this space along here. I'll use my light so you can see. All this space along here with furniture to store stuff. And all of that at the end there is stuff that's going to need storing so again another thing i'm going to be selling are these um hubcaps hxm hubcaps they're not mega ones they're the ones that were on the, the van when i bought it unless i've replaced them with something else then obviously they've got to go and probably that glove box door underneath as well but i'm not sure about that at the minute so all of that's got to be going into some furniture to be tidied away. But it's all in some sort of order now, whereas before everything was mixed up and put in God knows how many piles and boxes and things. So in here you've got the... Uh, you've got some swimming pool filters. You've got the soundproofing for the engine compartment on Mega Bread Van. And I've actually bought some other soundproofing here, so that's another thing I need to do. So basically it's looking a lot better. If you know anyone who needs some sliding doors, let me know, because those needs to go to. They're taking up a lot of room. It's more or less tidy. We can find stuff. But now it's a case of having to unplug the furniture into here. And as I put my back out last week, carrying some other furniture, it's a slow process. So we're into July and we just moved with Madame MB and my son some bits and pieces to the garage, the storage. So uh, yeah, things are progressing but very slowly. So we've moved uh, this piece of furniture in. It was my daughter's sort of like uh, makeup table. So the mirror's gone down the tip, but I thought I'd keep the the bottom bit and put it on the top of this other old piece of furniture, which is already here. Uh, probably in the last video. I don't know, I'm losing track because it's been months and months and months of videoing in here. And this is what we just moved, the three of us, um, which was in our dining room, my school classroom. So we've got another one to replace it from house number two. And now uh, this will be a decent amount of storage. So I've got three, three cupboards, three drawers. And in there we've got a fair amount of space in this thing, really. Oops, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, so the idea is I'll put the van stuff probably in here, in this uh, piece of furniture here, uh, probably general tools. But I think there's going to be a third piece of furniture we'll put here. I can't remember which one it was. But that means that uh, we've got all of these boxes to go through. And I managed to sort them actually. They're still more or less sorted, even though I've been in and taken things out um, and put things back again, which is always a recipe for mess because you end up putting them in the wrong boxes. Well, I do anyway. So these 
two nearest boxes. So they're the things for the van. Then we've got another one over there for the over there for the bikes and stuff. And these are general tools, these two here. So yeah, we're getting there. And we still got my CPI scooter there in the corner, not doing anything, looking very sad. So that's that bit of the video. Uh, I will be back as I start to tidy things up. And uh, the idea is to put all these little bits and pieces I've been filming since January together and uh, make a video out of them. So there's no mega bed van. We've got Kangoo. I've not made names for cars or anything here. Um, I know we've got Mega Bread Van, but we've got Kangoo here, and we've got Grand Scenic here. And Mega Bread Van is parked elsewhere out of the way because we just didn't have room to to move furniture about up the driveway. So it's been a very tiring afternoon for the three of us, and now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea. So. On to the next clip which will come next in the magic of youtube so i think we've uh, reached a point where we can wrap this video up now because uh, i actually realized it wasn't january um i've been basically working on the garage bit by bit very much bit by bit since last november so a lot longer than i thought so the last few days i've been busy quite busy tidying and organizing and making sure I can put things in places where I can find them again. So basically repopulating the, let me say repopulating, populating the, uh, the new old furniture I've put in there. So let's go and take a look. Well, it looks a mess, but it's actually quite tidy. Um, basically this bit of the garage needs sorting. So that's the messy bit. Um, I think I probably mentioned it before in earlier in the video i can't remember what i mentioned before because it's been like a few months in between takes so uh although i've started to edit the video um basically I'll, i forget things i'm very forgetful uh must be age so we've got some sliding doors we need to get rid of these because otherwise if um i want to put the van in here um well apart from the bikes being there which hopefully we'll be able to put somewhere else um, I wouldn't get it in. Uh, it was a tight squeeze and I tried it the first time. Uh, I'll put a link up to that video of me trying to get the van into the garage so you can have a look. I think it was probably a couple of years ago. Uh, so basically we have a load of boxes here full of stuff which have now gone into the furniture over there. So all that's left is a few gardening things and a great pile of uh, small jerry cans uh, I need to remember the one I used out of that lot for the diesel that I use in my van because we've got the diesel one somewhere in there and I guess it's going to be the cleanest one so it's probably this one here and then we've got the fuel for the mower which is um, petrol so red diesel black petrol so I've got this lot to sort out now got to put some labels on them and things so I've never had labels on there and it's so annoying and stupid having to go through each drawer to find things so um, basically uh, all the well I think some of the drill bits will probably go somewhere else I can't I get fed up with trying to find drill bits um, but all the screws nails washers and all that sort of thing need sorting I try to group things by by tools so as you can see here, I've got a great big heap of hammers. I go around murdering people with those. I won't, but you know, my sense of humor is a bit weird sometimes. Uh, a few saws in there. Oh. And these are sort of like finishing things. So if I can just lift my camera up so we can film inside, it's probably going to be a bit blurred. But um, yeah, uh, clamps, wire brushes, things used for sanding, you know, the little... Well, this thing here, one of those, a sanding block, that's the thing. And then we've got sort of like PPE, um, we've got masks, um, so ear protectors, um, eye protectors, all sorts in there. So they're all grouped together. And then here we've got, these are the typical sort of raw plugs we have in France. 
um, try to find one on its own. Uh, do you have those in England or elsewhere? We have them a lot here because a lot of the houses have got plasterboard um, interior walls. So I had to get used to using these because in the house I lived in in England, all the interior walls were in brick. So, yeah. Um, drill bits. So some of the drill bits from there will go in here because I want them all in one place, ideally. But they're the packs. And then nails in, in this one, so I won't bother to open that. So that's sort of gardening stuff, gardening tools at the bottom, gloves, attachments for the garden hose at the top. So, uh, sandpaper, protective sheets, or in French, debash. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can because it's a bit tedious. Lots and lots of brushes for painting doing DIY and lots of rollers as well so it's amazing what you find after having a good sort through obviously uh, there's been a lot gone in the bin because uh, they're all hard but these are all these have never been used uh, practically new so that's good because we need them because we need to do house number two so so toolboxes uh, what's the one in the bottom I can't remember what it was I think it was probably... yeah that's uh, stuff to do with DIY decorating you know those gun things you use for sealant and um, sandpaper because it's they're too big and anyway um, can't fit them in the drawer. Paint and all of the various glues. There's some Teflon there, masking tape, wood glue, all that sort of thing. We either sort out of napkins and um, tablecloths, which I'll use as scrap uh, cloths. So we've got the original hubcaps from Mega, Mega Bread Van. I bought some grill stuff, which I was planning to use on the front dash. I don't know what I'm going to use it for now. Various funnels uh, for, um, well, filling the radiator up and um, screen washing, that sort of thing. Which reminds me, I need to do the radiator at some point. Uh, that's car stuff and bike stuff. So you've got jump leads, oil, mud guards, car headlights, that sort of thing. And then this one's mainly for Mega Bread Van. So you've got all the paints and things I've been using. I've got the, I don't really want to get my fingers covered in acetone. That's what I used to make my slurry, if you remember. Acetone slurry. Uh, using bits of bodywork which I've got in here somewhere. That's the whoops, glove box door which is completely useless really, it's a stupid idea because well first of all there's something missing uh, to hold it on there, it should be like that. It's really flimsy and when you sort of break or go around the corner it flips open because the the lock isn't very good. So I've done away with it. I'm thinking of putting a netting, you know, one of those storage nettings across the, the gap that's in the dashboard where the glove box is uh, and use that as storage. And this, probably somebody will want to buy it, even though it's broken. Um, yeah, so I want to move the acetone out, I'd show you something. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be using in the next, probably the one of the next videos. So I need to pump up the tires. So I bought this from, I think it was from Lidl. So it's a tyre pump, well it's a ball pump, it's a, you can use it for all sorts. You know, on the back here you've got footballs and motorbikes, bikes, even a sit-on tractor. So, trying to drop it. So I'm going to do a video of me pumping up the tyres, but uh, Simon, the, the chap who sent me the manual for the um, Mega Multi Truck, see, see earlier video, um, said to me be careful because because it's powered and I'm just having a little fight in the cupboard here because it's powered by a cigarette lighter plug he said that it, it probably can get overloaded because he managed to melt his cigarette lighter socket in one of his cars um, so what I was thinking of doing to get around it is I've got one of those batteries that are used for well jump leads basically but it's got several attachments it's got well several attachments i think there's two or three 
There's uh, an attachment for a cigarette lighter socket. Um, there's another one for jump leads. And then you've got USB plugs and things. So I might give that a try and use the battery to, to bump it up. Four things mega bed van. So electrical connectors, Allen keys, the famous knife. There's a video about that on, on the channel. It's been very useful. My new pliers that I bought, that's also also mentioned in an earlier video. My battery charger, I mentioned a really old video on the channel. Another little purchase, but I was really pleased with that. That's really good. I've used it several times and it's never failed me. More stuff. I don't know what that's doing there, because that's an actual spark plug. Two Joe plugs, because you never know. Nice magnet uh, uh, tray thing for looking after stray screws and things. Uh, I think they're actually stray screws for the van. Those were used to fit the, oh yeah, the struts, front wheel struts. Great big thing like that. You've got two of those that hold the whole of the, it's like a McPherson strut onto the chassis. As you can see it's not exactly a lot. Uh, but they're a bit short and when we with my brother-in-law we put another video, another early video when we put the uh, protection bar on the front um, these had to be taken out and we had to replace them with longer ones so those are the original uh, bolts for the suspension, well the bottom of the suspension and then you've got a few screws in there that were holding the, I think that one was possibly holding the panel behind the headlights because I took the uh, interior, um, in fact it's over here. Here you've got some internal panels, I'll take them into the light so we can see them. So, perhaps if I put it there you'll be able to see it. So that's one of the panels that I bought to um, insulate the engine compartment. It's an official XAM one. I've got two. The other one's a different form and different shape, but this bit here is for the bell housing on the side of the CVT. So the idea being that uh, if you need to work on the CVT, you can put a bolt, a socket through there to undo a bolt to then change the belt, which I'm hoping won't happen anytime soon because it's squealing at the moment. Okay, so uh, not much left. Um, Poxy putty, that's been quite useful, but not very useful for replacing the, sorry, replacing, repairing the, the hole in the floor in the cab. Um, another early video and, and an early disaster was putting this stuff on the floor. When some damp got behind it, it just fell off, so it doesn't actually bond to the plastic very well. It's good for other uses though, it's, I actually replaced the, oh yeah, the, um, the back bumper. Um, there's like a plastic disc that goes in the in the tube there's a tubular bumper on the back i'll put a photo up if i remember so yeah you got like a, a sort of plastic bung inside the the bumper and on the other side at the back it was missing and so the inside of the bumper was rusting and so i managed to get a nutella jar um cap screw cap uh to uh, replace the plastic bung use that to glue it to the metal and there, for some reason, it worked really well. You know, met plastic to metal, great. Also, it works, works really well on paving stones, because I use some on some crazy paving on our terrace. I can't remember what I put in here. Oh, so you've got power tools in there. I'm not going to bother opening it, so I'll box in front. So that's about it. So, compared to how it was before, it's a lot better. So we'll bring it to an end there, I think, because otherwise this video is going to be way, way too long. So, thank you so much for watching. And from me and Dolly, it's goodbye. Bye, Dolly. Say hello to everybody in internet land. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Here. Yeah.